Okay, question four. It says use the exchange rate one pound equals to 1.52 US dollars to answer the following questions. Gareth exchanges 300 pounds into US dollars. How many US dollars will he receive? Okay, now if you're changing from pounds into a foreign currency, then we're going to multiply by this exchange rate. So given one pound is one dollar fifty two, if you have three hundred pounds, we need to multiply one dollar fifty two by three hundred. That will give us our answer. Of course, this is a non calculator paper, so we're going to have to think of a strategy in order to work this out without a calculator. Now, what I would do, first of all, perhaps, is to, in order to work this out, is to perhaps work out what 100 times $1.52 is first. Okay? Of course, if we multiply by 100, each digit becomes 100 times bigger, so this will become 152. Okay? So in effect, everything has moved on the place value chart two places to the left. So that one goes into the hundreds column, the five has gone into the tens column, and the two has gone into the units column. So we've times it by hundred. And some people like to think of it as the decimal point moving two places to the right because there's two zeros. Um, or you can think, as I said, alternatively, each digit moves up two places on the place value chart. Now that's 100 times 1.52. Of course we want 300 times 1.52. So all we need to do is multiply this by 3. Okay? And to multiply that by 3, of course lots of different ways you could do this. You could um, think of 150 times 3. And you get 450. And then 2 times 3 which is 6. So you end up having 456. US dollars. Part B, Adrian wants to exchange 585 US dollars into pounds. Estimate how many pounds Adrian is likely to receive. Now it does say estimate. Okay, we can't obviously work this out exactly because ideally changing US dollars, we want to change this into pounds. When we change it back into pounds, we ideally want to divide by 1.52. Okay, that's what we usually do, isn't it? When we change back into pounds, we divide by 1.52. Now, unfortunately, of course, we can't do this without a calculator, but it does say estimate. So this would become. 600, 585, an estimate for that is 600, and of course 1.52, I would make that um, 1.5, I think is more sensible, okay, um, I think we need to go to as close to 1.5, I think that's what the examiner there would look for, um, 1.52 is a bit too difficult for us to work out, but 1.5 is a lot more acceptable. Now, to do this without a calculator, what I would do is, I would write it as a fraction, okay, and 600 divided by 1.5, um, now of course to do that, when you have a fraction, there's a decimal involved, I would um, scale it up so that we, we don't have any decimals in the fraction, and if I double the bottom, of course I'm going to get 3, okay, that's a good way of changing it into a whole number, sometimes doubling it helps. Of course, if I double the bottom, I have to double the top. Okay, 600 times 2, 1,200. Okay, then I'm left with 1,200 divided by 3. And that's really easy because 12, if you think about it, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So 1,200 divided by 3 is going to be 400. And of course, 400 pounds will be our answer.